A high-tech competition of a different kind took center stage at the Promenade Shops in Center Valley tonight. No, it had nothing to do with shopping. Nope, a competition all about surgery. And you didn't have to be a doctor to scrub up and get involved. Camper and Holly has more. A robot carrying a torch signaled the start of the competition. Wednesday night was the finals of the first ever robotic surgery simulation Olympics. Three, two, one, go! Going head to head, the competitors used the same simulator used to train surgeons at Lehigh Valley Hospital. You had two straps strapped around your fingers, and then you control it uh, with the straps. Ten year old Brendan Beck faced off in the senior competition. After completing a task, the challengers received a score. We had a stack blocks on each other, then if we got all the blocks on in time, we could put dominoes on. This is actually very sophisticated software, uh, using virtual reality software where it's as if they're actually moving objects around, but it's actually being recreated through a computer 3D uh, stereoscope. This simulation is what the more than 300 students and adults had to complete to qualify. Out of two events, they were narrowed down to the 24 who are here tonight. And it was tense competition. Both contestants ready? Okay, here we go. Brendan wasn't the winner of his category, but the first, second, and third place contestants in the senior and junior competitions took home prizes. The event was designed to educate and promote robotic surgery. We can do small decisions and we can have fine dexterity and fine precision on our movements. It's dramatically changing what we do. Dr. Martino hopes to make the Simulation Olympics an annual event. We put more information on WFMZ.com. Catherine Hawley, 69 News.